Welcome to another art critique session on the Art Tutor. Today we are looking at a piece of work submitted by Minerva Duke on the theme of isolation. Students were asked to uh, study the works of Edward Opper and to look at how he would have um, skillfully expressed different kind of uh, ideas and messages on isolation and loneliness and that sort of um, theme in some of his work and you would have been able to take bits and pieces from what they would have learned from his work and apply it to their composition and this is the piece submitted by Minerva. What I like about this piece, it, it has that storytelling quality that you will find in Opus' work where when you look at the, the, the lone figure in the composition in the interior environment or in the forested environment and then you assess her outfit. There's a certain level, level of elegance that is associated with that outfit that you would not think of when you think of a jungle or a forested area. So she seems to be out of place because this kind of um, dress mode is suitable for a ballroom environment or some sophisticated um, gala or event. And it, it, it that that even lends itself more to to that storyline when you look at her hat that they had this on her head, and I think that the, the intriguing thing about this composition is, is is that it forces you to ask a number of questions in terms of why she's there, what is she doing, where is she going? The young lady, be all alone in this kind of environment that seems so dangerous. So, um, in terms of the way you would have organized your images to tell the story. Kudos to you, you would have done a good job with that. The, there's a certain level of verticalness of the composition, but then you break that up, that monotony of the verticalness with these two diagonal um, large leaves in the foreground. It really adds, and it, it looks like sugarcane, I could be wrong, it looks like sugarcane leaves, but it could be something, but it, it really adds to the dynamics of the, the composition. Usually, I, I don't always recommend having that center having your, your subject matter, your focus in the center of the composition. But I think the way you would have balanced out these two leaves and then you have this trunk of the tree that seemed to be in the background here. It adds to a little, um, creates a little interest in composition that, 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 that doesn't uh, make it boring. And also it also contributes to the, to the storytelling aspect of it as well. Uh, the things that I would suggest you go back and look at would be the way you utilize your greens to convey the message of atmospheric perspective. Because when you look at the greens in the foreground and the greens in the middle ground, the background greens are a little okay because I can see those blues or maybe that's the sky coming through here. But you could have done a better job with the greens in these areas, all this area here. These greens are, are not supposed to be or shouldn't be this strong. Let me say not supposed to be. It shouldn't be this strong because if you create an illusion of space, and in any given landscape environment, you want to ensure that you're representing the foreground, the middle ground, and the background. And the values of colors that you use in those three different areas has to be different because what is happening, you're, you're, you're creating that illusion of space and distance. And I think if you would have done that with these, put more blue in this area, you could have been so much more effective in the way you would have created that illusion of space or you would have represented atmospheric perspective. So the way in which you mix your greens, you need to pay a little more attention to that and I noticed that in the previous assignment that you would have submitted on the landscape that you were struggling there with, with your mixing of greens too. I would suggest that you go back to that video that was posted on the stream in the classroom and study the different um, approaches to mixing different varieties of greens and that is going to help you in situations like this. So when you come to landscape environment or when you come to anything where you're dealing with greens now because you would have been exposed to different um, concepts in terms of how you mix greens and what are some of the uh, what are some of the things that happen when light strikes um, green, you can able to produce a better composition in terms of atmospheric perspective in the future. Um, you're back to your strong self in terms of your expression and that painterly style and that painting style that is um, uniquely yours. And I want to commend you on that because you'd have lost you a bit on that landscape, that private landscape. So you're back. I can see that. I like the way you would have treated the um, the figure. Reminds me of some of the stuff that Bosco would have done with this figure. Very minimalistic, very simplistic. You're having the tones in the right places. 
just just enough to create that illusion of three dimensionality and to speak to the and, and to speak to the form of the of the figure so you don't need a whole lot of detail we get a sense of what is going on the whole idea of the the, 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 the message in this composition is the, the posture I know you would have put her walking away from us and that says a whole lot maybe she's dealing with so much that she can't take it anymore she's actually run away or she decides to take a break from whatever sophisticated event she's dealing with and just come into nature to just unwind to just de-stress to just lay it all at the bosom of mother nature so to speak so your storytelling was very very effective in this piece and i want to commend you on that um, but go back and look at the way you would have treated your greens because there's a lot that you can do to really improve the composition and make the composition even more stronger if you um, make some tweaks to the way you uh, represent atmospheric perspective with the use of your greens. I thank you for your submission and hope that somewhere along the line something that I would have said would allow you to go back, do some more research, do some more investigation, make some changes and see whether it works for you or not. So thank you for your submission once again. Thank you.